Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of Skyrim. Now, when we left off, I said something incorrect. Turns out the thing that I had found before was actually a glitch. You're supposed to complete the entire quest line for the Civil War before he will just let you take the trap in his palace and use it without having to do the truce. If the whole war is still going on, it will still need the truce. So, what I had dealt with was a glitch. So, you needed to actually complete the whole war, not just the one battle in Whiterun. So, fuck. <laughs> anyway, now we continue on with the truce. Ulfric, you can't seriously expect us to give up Markarth at the negotiating table. Yeah. You hope to gain in council what you've been unable to take in battle, is that it? Ooh, burn. I'm sure Jarl Ulfric does not expect something for nothing. Yes, that'd be entirely What would the Empire want in return? Bricka, patience. General, you don't intend to just hand over Markarth to that traitor. This is how the Empire repays us for our loyalty? Balgruff, calm down. First, let's be clear. This council wasn't my idea. I think it's a waste of time. Good point. You are a traitor to the Empire and deserve a traitor's death. Uh-huh. But I at least will negotiate in good faith. Since we're all here at your request, I'd like to hear what you think Markarth is worth. Hmm. How about Riften? Hmm. The Rift would help secure our communications with Cyrodiil and threatened Ulfric's southern flank. You heard the man, Ulfric. We've made you a fair offer. Are you serious about these talks, or are you just... Seems like he's a little pissy. I expected better from you, Dragonborn. I came here in good faith, despite your known Imperial sympathies. Mm -hmm. As for you, General Tullius, I see now that Garmar was right. Talking to the Empire is just as useless as ever. Okay. If you think you can hold Markar, you're as deluded as your Emperor when he signed away our freedom to Nathalmor. Skyrim will never again bow to your false Empire. Okay. Let's go, Galmar. I should have listened to you in the first place. Great. You always were a fool, Ulfric. You're no better at diplomacy than you are in the battlefield. He's not wrong. Stop! Are you so blind to our danger that you can't see past your pity disagreement? Here you sit arguing about nothing, while the fate of the land hangs in the balance. Finally, a voice of reason. You, Delphi. If so, I advise you to tell him to watch his tongue. He is with me. And I advise you both to listen to what he has to say before you do anything rash. Don't you understand the danger? Don't you understand what the return of the dragons means? Alduin has returned, the world eater. Even now, he devours the souls of your fallen comrades. Mm -hmm. He grows more powerful with every soldier slain in your pointless war. Can you not put aside your hatred for even one moment in the face of this mortal danger? Very we'll find out. out. But what does it Shut have to up. do with the... If he's right, <laughs> We both have just as much to lose here, Tullius. Remember that. Now, back to the matter at hand. Okay. Don't hand me a mug of sheep's piss and call it meat. These terms are still not acceptable. I'm sure you have something in mind. Okay. Damn right we do. Shut up, Galmar. You surrender Falkreath to us. Sidgir steps down, and Dengir of Stun resumes the Yarship. Where do these demands stop, Ulfric? Do you expect me to surrender all of Skyrim? It seems I have no choice but to let the Dragonborn decide. Although I'm starting to doubt your fairness. Oh, fuck you. What say you, Dragonborn? Fuck you. The Empire doesn't need to give up any more territory. <sighs> Even the Dragonborn betrays Skyrim. I'm Khajiit! These terms are not acceptable. You know that. I'm listening. Don't play dumb, Tullius. Bah, this is a waste of time. I can see that we won't get better terms from this council. So be it. The sons of Skyrim at least put the greater good above our own interests. It 
seems we may have an agreement. All right. Jarl Ulfric, General Tullius, these are the terms currently on the table. Markarth will be handed over to Ulfric's forces, Jarl Igmund will step down, and Thangvor Silverblood will become the Jarl of Markarth. Not for long. The Stormcloaks will withdraw from the rift, allowing Imperial troops unhindered access. All right. Jarl Leila Lawgiver will step down, and Maven Blackbriar will become the Jarl of Riften. I guess you kind of have to. You both agree to this? They better. I shouldn't agree to terms that so blatantly favor the Empire. I have no choice, though, under the circumstances. Exactly. If once Aldwin is defeated, then it will be the Empire's turn. Remember Evgir Unslav. You should be pleased, Elisif. You've done well for yourself as the Empire's pet yarn. But beware, the Empire's loyalty is fickle. They will tire of this war, and then I will be the one dictating terms to you. I have nothing have, to have say. Have fun with your delusions there, buddy. General, you've proven yourself a good friend to Skyrim. I continue to trust that you will do your utmost to safeguard our interests. Thank you, Jarl Elisif. I appreciate your loyalty. Mm hmm The Empire can live with these terms, yes, for a temporary truce. Until the dragon menace is dealt with. And I'll make sure it's After done as that, fast as possible. There will be a reckoning. Count on it. Taking control Serana. of the rift was a great victory. Ulfric must be rather nervous with us so close to his doorstep. Well, to be fair. On, Whoa! We have a lot of work to do. Didn't Getting expect to get that. A price for this truce, Dragonborn. I hope it was worth it. We got the rift in. We got their wood. I assume you are familiar with the Dragonborn's plan? Yes, I'm ready to do my part. Just say the word, and my men will help you spring this trap. Sounds the good. The difficulty remains how to lure a dragon to Dragon's Reach at all. Well, that's an excellent question. You haven't overlooked that little detail, have you? Of course not. How ah, dare you? you. Thank you. See? I Busy in the library of Skyhaven Temple. And Sounds I'm good. Guess troll of lost Nordor. But the important thing is that the blades recorded many of the names of dragons they slew. Mm -hmm. Cross referencing this with Delphine's map of Dragon Burial sites, I believe I've identified one of the dragons that Aldrin has raised up. Mm -hmm. How does that help us? And don't you see? The names of dragons are always three words of power. Shouts. Oh. By calling the dragon with the voice, he will hear you wherever he might be. Why would he come when called? He's not compelled to, but dragons are prideful by nature and loath to refuse a challenge. Your voice in particular is likely to intrigue this dragon. After your victory over Aldrin, I think it's very likely that he will be unable to resist investigating your so what is this dragon's name? Ah, I'm no master of the voice, like these worthy gentlemen. But it is written here, in this scroll. Oda Vin, winged snow hunter, as I read it. You have much pain to see the name of Ulfric's face again. You have already swallowed the terms of the truce. Hey, you're welcome, Ricka. <laughs> that was amazing, though. All of that. Here's one more thing. We know about Parthenax. Uh, turns out he's a dragon, but he helped me, at least, you know. That's fine. We needed his help. Now we don't. And it's long past time for him to pay for his crimes. Crimes? And he's not just any dragon. He was the right hand of Alduin. And also stabbed him in the back. atrocities so infamous they are still remembered thousands of years later. He needs to die. He deserves to die. And it falls to you to kill him. Until he's dead. Well, I'm sorry, but we would dishonor our oaths as blades if we continue to help you. Well, fuck you then. About Parthenax. Make your choice, Dragonborn. You're either with us or against us. Why does he need to Here's die? Here's the big picture. He helped Alduin enslave our ancestors. 
He may have betrayed Alduin in the end, but that makes him worse, not better. How? We can't afford to give Parthenax the opportunity to betray us in turn and return to his old master. His old master will be dead. Will be dead by my hand. Are you not getting this? You are fucking stupid. You are so stupid. <clears throat> I'm not killing Parthenax. Delphine can sit on it. I'm not killing Parthenax. He is the Joshua Graham of Skyrim. I'm not killing him. No, it's not happening. Alright. Anyway. Now that that's dealt with, we will head out to take out Alduin. Oh, first. First, first, first. Oh, what is it? Uh, I think we should part I'm ways for right there. now. Hopefully, I'll see you again soon. Very soon. Very soon, I'm sure. Okay, and... Uh, there we go. Over here, Dragon's Reach. I keep forgetting. My brain just keeps going, bleh. Alright. Okay, give me just one moment. That'll probably be a significant have cut chunk. The between oh. the storm cloaks and Imperials. How long can such a thing last? Until I kill Alduin, motherfucker. Okay. No, you don't say. That was that would be a significant chunk cut out of that load time because I was looking at something that was editing currently. Uh. Yeah, here we go. Ready to go. I'm basically unburdened, as it stands right now. And I'm ready to continue the fight. Alright. Damn right! Okay. Wait, did I get that shout, Odoving? Um, hmm. Slow time. I have a lot of dragon souls. Call dragon. Yeah, I do have that. Awesome. Let's pop that on. And there's a couple of things I want to look at. Slow time. Yeah, let's pop that. Okay. 30. Used to be a time where that was a lot longer for recharge. Huh. Okay. That's weird. Also, I just realized I don't have uh, Talos' blessing on me, and I kind of need to get that if I'm going to be heading out there, like, now. <laughs> Alright. Be right back. It'll be a little bit of a thing. Alright, and I'm back. Alright. We're ready to go. Head all the way up here. Wait. I have to talk to Bogger first? Okay. I guess I have to do that. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. You ready to spring that trap? As I promised, my men stand ready. The great chains are oiled. We wait on your word. That sounds a little weirder than it should have, but all right. I'm ready. Let's go trap us a dragon. I know what to do. Make sure you do your part. I'm putting my city in your hands. Don't you worry, man. I know what I'm doing. Maybe a little better than you know what you're doing, but... Anyway. Call Odevi. <coughs> The Great Porch. And this is where we'll be trapping that dragon. Alright. There we are. And this is where the trap is, I assume. Yeah, that drops down. We're ready. If you say so. This guy's just standing here doing nothing. You're ready for what's about to happen, dude. Oh, Daving.
Alright, and... That's what I thought. It immediately recharges it. Dragon Rend, there we go. And we're ready for when he comes over. I can hear him. Can't see him, but I can hear him. There he is. Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> he dropped his sword and his shield out of shock. Oh, jeez. Okay. There we go. And he's down. Oh, he's gonna be down. Alright. And he's gonna be right here. Okay. Try and drag him over. There we go. Okay. He is really starting to beat me up a little bit. Okay. Let's pop... Don't I have that, uh... Oh, I didn't make that poison yet. God dang it. Okay, we'll pop this on. There's a poison-making thing that I was going to try, but I haven't gotten it yet. God damn it. Let's get a little health on me. Ha-ha! <laughs> Down you go. I tricked him with my little pirouette there <laughs> at the end. Hey, buddy. I just captured you. Need. Need. Avuta mid Kodav. Caught like a bear in a trap. And you fell for it so good. Zuk frimi grin kogra drun viki. Dovakin. Didn't understand a word of that. I forget. You do not have the Dova speech. Pretty much. My eagerness to meet you in battle was my undoing, Dovakin. That it was. I salute your mm, low cunning in devising such a Gramin Dol stratagem. I wouldn't say it's low. Zubonar, you went to a great deal of trouble to put me in this humiliating position. Yep. Just for shits and giggles. In Sir Alduin, hmm? no doubt you want to know yeah. where to find Alduin. Uh, of course. That's exactly what I want to know. Where is he hiding? Renik Vaza. An apt phrase. Alduin Boval. Mm -hmm. One reason I came to your call was to test your thumb for myself. Many of us have begun to question Alduin's lordship, whether his Thuum was truly the strongest. Among ourselves, of course, Muni Mae, none were yet ready to openly defy him. Ah, I see. So you were telling me where to find Alduin? Once Lord Croesus, innumerable pardons, I digress. He has traveled to Sovngarde to regain his strength, devouring the Silesur, the souls of the mortal dead, a privilege he jealously guards. Of course. His door to Sovngarde is at Skaldafin, one of his ancient fanes high in the eastern mountains. Okay. Binduran pa ok avarantil. I surely do not need to warn you that all his remaining strength is marshaled there. Okay. The Ulost Ofan Hinlan. Now that I have answered your question, you will allow me to go free? Do you promise to serve me? Um? Serve you? No. Need aid. If and when you defeat Alduin, I will reconsider. Fair enough. Mm. Fair enough. Croesus, there is one detail about Skaldafen I neglected to mention. <sighs> All right, let's hear it. And tell me what you know, then. Only this. You have the Thurm of a Dova, mm -hmm. but without the wings of one. 
You will never set foot in Skaldafin. Well, fuck! Of course, I could fly you there, but not while imprisoned like this. We seem to be at an impasse then. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Do you expect me to take your word for that? Aran, you wound me, Dovahkiin. I may not tell the whole truth, but I am no liar. Fair enough. Go and see for yourself. Zu ni bo nor hate. I will be here, unless Alduin returns before you do. No, no, I think I believe you. You have reconsidered my offer, hmm? Onikan Kron? Nah, I've reconsidered. You will release me, Roland, if in return I promise to take you to Skaldafen and stop helping Alduin? Yes. Sounds like a good idea to me. I'll set you free if you promise to take me to Skaldafen. Onikan Korav Gaid Mirad. It is wise to recognize when you only have one choice. Well, and you can trust me. Zuni Tarudis. Alduin has proven himself unworthy to rule. I go my own way now. Fair enough. Free me, and I will carry you to Skaldafin. All right. Incredible. Uh, uh, sir. You have no idea how long I have waited for such an opportunity. Farangar! I would be most appreciative if you would permit me to perform some, uh, tests on you. Purely in the interests of the advancement of knowledge. Be gone, mage. Do not test my promise to the Dovahkiin. <laughs> I assure you, you will not even notice me. Most oh boy. of them are hardly painful at all to a large dragon such as yourself. Barngar, you're really pushing it. <laughs> I have a feeling I'm gonna need to sidestep a little bit. Barngar! What are you doing back there? Barngar, really? Okay! <laughs> <laughs> I just heard that. <laughs> okay. Well then, that was a thing. But uh, we're going to end the episode right now. And we will assault Alduin in the next few episodes. Sounds like a plan. Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share in comments so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. Take a look at my Patreon down below in the description. Decide whether or not you want to support me in making more videos for you guys. Or not, it's completely up to you. And I will see y'all in the next episode. This has been the one, the only, Stray Cat, playing games for you.